My name is Jason Belcher, and this is my culminating project oral presentation for the All Sports Spaghetti Dinner. So first off, what it is, is an entire athletics department fundraiser for Spaghetti Dinner Night. The reason for this is because over the past few years, our Booster Club membership has been down, which means the money available to the athletics programs at our school is also down. And with today's situation with a lot of athletics programs like they are at our school, they're almost entirely self-funded by the players and fundraising. So the overall goal of this fundraiser is for each athlete to sell five tickets each at $5 a piece, which would be a do total donation or total ticket sale of $25 per athlete. Now we do have upwards of 800 athletes at our school, which with maximum participation would be approximately a $20,000 fundraiser before expenses. The realistic goal, however, is about 300 athletes to sell the total of five tickets each, which would still give us about $7,500 before food costs. So overall, it would be about between a $6,000 and $6,500 profit for our athletics programs. The vision for this is this could, be, be, could become our spring Booster Club fundraiser. We have done in the past a Vegas night in the spring, and this year we're not doing that because it's just such a huge undertaking and no one wanted to take it on. So in doing this, it will help build a nest egg for our booster club to help for big ticket items like soccer goals or scoreboards or things like that. The structure of this fundraiser is already in place because we do a similar pancake breakfast fundraiser in the fall semester. So the skeleton of this whole thing could be run exactly the same way as that. As far as a leadership team, me as the organizer uh, and working closely with our athletic director, I need him to be able to pass off information to our off-campus coaches and making sure that they have everything that they need as far as the tickets and the envelopes to give to their athletes. And also working with the booster president and booster club as a whole to put them in charge of the tickets and putting together the envelopes for all the athletes at school and then also to e-blast all the members of the booster club to promote the spaghetti dinner. One coach I really wanted to bring in was our cross country coach. I wanted to put him in charge of the food and refreshments and he's been open to doing whatever that he can do to help the overall fundraiser. He has been uh, our cross country coach for over 10 years and has done so much within the community and has so many different contacts to be able to make this be the best fundraiser possible. And it's important for all the other head coaches to be there as well in working shifts and serving the spaghetti and all the refreshments as well. And in turn, getting their athletes to work shifts and clean tables and reset things for new people coming to sit down. It's important for the other coaches to buy in to help make the fundraiser successful. If we only had half of our coaches buy into this pro this fundraiser, there's no way that it would be successful. So in doing this, it's really important for all of us as an athletic department to get together and have meetings face to face. Uh, for the past couple of years, the Booster Club really hasn't been able to 100% fund a lot of the coaches' requests. And what it really comes down to is the more money that the Booster Club has, the more, more money that they can give out when coaches request it from them. It really is important, as I said, for all of us coaches to meet face-to-face -face because it's really honestly better done in, in person than over email or text message. And according to Kuzis and Posner, with all communication done via email, there's no bonding, no trust, no motivation, no commitment to the team's goals. And to be quite honest, with no FaceTime, it's really going to equate out to very little interest, which will transfer down to the athletes having very little interest in selling the tickets. As far as our collaborative audit goes, really one thing I really like about our athletics department at West High is we do have a common goal in mind and we do really well in supporting each other and the programs that we have is really making West High athletes the best that they can be and our overall athletics programs the best in the area. So getting the coaches buy-in on this was actually really, really easy. And I did as I talked to the cross country coach and also the football coach to bounce some early ideas off of and they really helped in terms of really solidifying the structure of how it's going to go. Some major complications that we have for this year, by this point in the school year a lot of senior athletes are already switched out of sports. We really only have uh, boys volleyball and baseball and softball going on right now. So a lot of 
athletes aren't even in their programs. And we have a lot of construction going on on our campus right now, and we're down to facility to we're down some facilities, which make it difficult to organize the space for something like this. In summary, the framework for this spaghetti fundraiser is in place for the spring of 2019 probably about February. That, that means the winter athletes are still in season. The spring athletes are just starting their season and that will maximize the amount of participation. There has been talk about dissolving the booster club and having individual sport booster clubs. And that could be a potential problem because without the booster club and relying solely on individual programs, they're going to have to rely on to, they're going to have to purchase those big ticket items all on their own and for the softball program specifically in the baseball program that we uh, share the company who does our fencing that's upwards of over over thirty five hundred dollars every single year that we have to raise in addition to our normal fundraising goals so in conclusion effective leaders have these three main qualities they take the initiative they have the ability to bring the right people in and the ability to listen and also to collaborate. And with taking that initiative, for us specifically at West High, with the overall funds for athletics decreasing, the Booster Club clearly needs more help. And in terms of ability to bring in other people, enlisting others is really important. And it's, a not, and it's about bringing the right people in, the knowledgeable people in, and also good leaders really know that it can't be done by themselves and it has to be done through the group as Maxwell said as leaders walk through the crowd they need to be listening as well and lastly collaboration after bringing those people in it's really important to listen to those other people and work together to maximize the success of the fundraiser and lastly grand dreams don't become significant realities through the actions of a single person it is really important to bring those right people in and to work together for the common goal and that's one thing as i said i really like about our athletics department and the rest of our coaches that i work with is that we really do strive for that single goal of making west high athletics the best here's my reference for the leadership challenge thank you for watching and have a great day